Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. The Aztec Empire of pre-colonized Mexico believed in a number of powerful gods and goddesses, but arguably few are as recognizable as the vibrant Quetzalcoatl. Depicted frequently as a dragon-like feathered serpent, Quetzalcoatl was the god of the sun, the dawn, the sky and the winds, as well as the god of learning, of knowledge, and arts and crafts. Sovereign rulers of the region often equated themselves with him, not unlike the monarchs of ancient Egypt and their respective gods. Indeed, Quetzalcoatl would prove to be a powerful influence over the Aztec people. There are a number of different myths surrounding details of Quetzalcoatl's origins. Some say that he was born to the virgin Shimaman, who had been visited by Antial in a dream. Others claim Shimaman became pregnant with Quetzalcoatl by swallowing an emerald or from being shot with an arrow by Mixcoat. Some stories give him different parents entirely, with stories of Quetzalcoatl being born to the Amediotl, where he reigned in the west as the white Tezcatlipoca. Another story says that Quetzalcoatl was born to the earth goddess, Coatlicue, who became impregnated by a white feather landing on her breast. Whatever his origins were, Quetzalcoatl's trait as a benefactor of mankind was prevalent throughout Aztec mythology. Kind and gentle by nature, Quetzalcoatl was reluctant to cause harm to any living creature, though more than willing to physically maim himself as a form of discipline. As time passed, Quetzalcoatl's relationship with humanity grew stronger and gifted them with great knowledge. Through him, they learned how to grow maize, learned the value of precious stones and metals, of shells, of feathers, and how to use a multitude of plants for medicinal purposes. Quetzalcoatl was indeed loved by the people, but his brother, the jaguar god Tezcatlipoca, grew disdainful of Quetzalcoatl's benevolent nature and began to hate him. Seeking to corrupt his brother's soul, the trickster god came to Quetzalcoatl and bade him to look into an enchanted mirror to his horror, Quetzalcoatl's image within the mirror was that of a withered old man. Fearful that his beloved followers would spurn him for looking haggard, he ran away, covering his face. Tezcatlipoca followed and bade him look into the mirror once more. This time, Quetzalcoatl's reflection was that of his true appearance, but adorned with a robe of Quetzal feathers and a turquoise serpent mask. Reassured, Quetzalcoatl returned to his people, but the games of Tezcatlipoca had only just begun. Not long after, Tezcatlipoca offered Quetzalcoatl a cup of pulque. After some convincing, Quetzalcoatl indulged lightly at first, but gradually consumed more and more. Intoxicated, Quetzalcoatl began to lose all sense of himself, and called to his sister, Quetzalcoatl, who joined him in his drunken revelry. Before long, the two engaged in intercourse and lived a life of incestuous stupor, putting behind them their lives of purity and neglecting their religious duties. In time, their heads cleared and were racked with guilt upon realization of what had befallen them. With a heavy heart, Quetzalcoatl ordered his followers build him a great coffin. He then laid in the coffin for four days and four nights. On the fifth morning, he and his followers journeyed to the seashore and built a massive funeral pyre. Adorning himself in the Quetzal feather robe and the turquoid mask, Quetzalcoatl stepped on the pyre and lit himself ablaze. All night the fire burned, and by dawn, Quetzalcoatl's ashes rose in the wind and became a flock of birds that flew towards the heavens. His followers watched on as their beloved god left them, but they noticed a new object in the morning sky. 
Quetzalcoatl became the Morning Star. The Aztec and Toltec empires held Quetzalcoatl higher perhaps than any other god among their pantheon. Tales of Quetzalcoatl, of his purity and good deeds toward humanity, his battles with Tezcatlipoca and his fall from grace, were told throughout the empire, with hope in their hearts that Quetzalcoatl one day return and bless his followers in their time of great need.